All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today to show you guys how to install Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 revamp as an updated guide for the uh, rest of this year, I guess, and going into 2026 until it gets another update. Not sure when that will be, but for now, everything should be compatible on the latest version, okay? as well as Eternity tools, which you need first before you can install revamp. For those of you that have never done it before, I'm going to be walking through that. For those of you that have already done it and you're good to go on just modding in general, you have all the tools installed, everything's good, you can skip ahead. I have a timestamp down in the description as well as the pinned comment where you can skip to how to download specifically just the revamp, okay? Now, it's very easy. It's, it's a couple of clicks. Now, the website got an update recently, and that's the reason why I'm making this guide again for like the 37th time because... They keep updating the website and it made things even more confusing for people. Now it's gonna be linked down below. You don't have to put in all that. You can just click it, right? Um, and it'll also be in the pinned comments. So you need this first before you get into it. But before we get into that, you do need WinRAR. So download WinRAR. If you don't already have it, you should. Most people do. Uh, again, this is a quick installation. It's not something you buy. Do not waste your money on this. It's a free thing. You download it, you install it. It's like two clicks, super quick, easy. Uh, once you have that installed, we can get into this, okay? So when you click on download the mod, oh my god, it makes all these links. And I know, people are going to be confused. Well, which one am I supposed to download? What the hell does all this mean, right? So you want to download specifically for now, okay? It's, it should be the one that is, you know, says primary. Now, this is going to change every time it gets updated in the future. So hopefully you can just use the same guide. So right now we're on the patcher 4.0. 64 okay so i'm gonna zoom in for y'all so you can see that you see that that is the one you need you need to download the one that's primary okay right now this is the one we're downloading in the future it's probably going to be a different version updated version right don't worry about all this other crap except for this version of xv2 ins okay uh don't download this one down here i don't think it really matters but i, I just wouldn't recommend downloading that one i would download this one up here okay the one that's closer to the top right so this one is, um, I believe it's 39.44 uh, megabytes. So I think it's a little bit bigger. So we're going to go ahead and download both of those guys real quick. So I'm going to zoom back out here. So I got that. Okay, Patcher's downloaded. Boom. And then we'll get the XV2 uh, INS. Download that real quick. All right. So we got those. Uh, we're not going to get into revamp just yet. We'll do that after. Like I said, you can skip ahead if you need to. So I'm going to go and minimize that. As you can see, I have both of these tools right here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and extract both of them so you just go to winrar then extract to here boom it's gonna make that folder okay and then you'll do it for the patcher tools do the same thing there nice okay so xv2 ins will have it to the side we'll get into that in just a second okay and then for this one right here we're gonna go ahead and get into xenoverse 2's folder okay so I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. I don't know why it's so small. But this is all the tools that you're going to be copying and pasting, okay? So you need to go to the Xenoverse 2 directory. For those of you that don't know, uh, it should be in this PC. So just depending on wh where did you install Xenoverse 2, okay? Where are your Steam games installed? It has to be via Steam, right? So if you installed it on a different drive or, you know, uh, whatever, <laughs> volume, portable drive, whatever it may be, you need to go there. Okay, so I'm going to be going to local disk. For most people, it's usually local disk. Uh, I believe it's x86. I always get confused between the two because there's two of them. Then you go to Steam, okay, and then you're going to go to Steam Apps, and then you're going to go to Common, and then you'll go to specifically that folder that shows uh, Xenoverse 2, okay? So uh, my stuff is going to be a little bit different than yours because I already have some things installed uh, for now. If you like, for example, if you already had a patcher, uh, which most people would probably have already had a patcher, you'll see it right here. Uh, it would be XV2 patcher that folder. If you already have that, um, you can just copy and paste, you know, the same thing right here, which is the XV2 patcher and just overwrite everything. Uh, personally, I would just go ahead and just delete that. Okay, same thing with the bin. Um, again, I have a lot of other stuff that you probably won't have if you're doing this for the first time. So all you need to do is go to the XV2 patcher from the new version that you just extracted, right? Go ahead and copy that guy, or you could drag it over and then paste it into the directory. Okay, I'll refresh that and it'll get all in order. Okay, all that has, is it has all the stuff that you need, right? And then the last thing you're going to need is through the bin folder, right? Over here from what you uh, just downloaded and extracted. 
you're going to get this x input one underscore three dot dll okay so we're going to go ahead and copy that and we're going to post i can't even speak <laughs> we're going to post it we're going to paste it in the uh bin folder in the directory okay so i already have it in there i'm just going to go ahead and replace it some of you probably might have already had it from a previous time that you already modded so it's all good now just as always i always like to point this out just in case that this doesn't work you start up the game you're having some issues it's not starting up it's crashing blah 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 right you can get the alternative dll okay which is the d input eight dot dll so you need to remove the x input that you just copied if it if it doesn't work and paste that one in there and see if that one works okay those are your two that you can alternate between if one of you know or the other does not work right now, I don't need to do that. This should work. I never have issues. I never, never had to use this before. So it's only if for whatever reason you have to. I don't know what causes it to, you know, have an issue. But yeah, that's the only reason. So don't worry about that. I think for the most part, you should be good. Uh, if you do end up you needing to do it, do not have both the X input and the D input installed or like, you know, in the same folder. Don't put them in there at the same time because then it really won't work. <laughs> so, you know, I've seen people, they've made that mistake and it, 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 it confuses them, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up that XV2 INS folder, okay? This is where you're gonna be installing all your mods and stuff. Uh, so yeah, you should be good to go on Xenoverse 2 uh, for, the, uh, for this folder right here, okay? So that's everything that should be all the tools, right? Now let's talk about what you need to be doing here on that xv2 ins okay so this is what you need to, this is what you care about all these other ones you don't need to go near right now unless you want to make your own quest or character or something like that uh which is a whole different thing right you only need to worry about this guy right here which is xv2 ins so uh generally i like to pin that to um my my uh little task bar there uh it makes it easier you can just bring it up anytime as you can see, if we go to the belt, you can see the version it's on. Uh, this was the most recent version after the most recent update. We're on 4.64. So that should be the one that's compatible. And obviously make sure um, that your game is all up to date as well. Uh, there was a recent update, I believe a week or two ago, uh, that fixed Broly's voice and stuff. So make sure you're on that one and not a previous one because then all this stuff won't be compatible. You, you have to make sure everything's on the same version that's compatible, right? So for the first time, it'll probably ask you uh, whenever you open this up, um, you're lo it's, it's looking for the directory where the mods are going to be installed. That's going to be basically, you know, here on Xenoverse 2, okay? Uh, this DB Xenoverse 2 directory folder, right? So anytime you install a mod, it's going to be installed in this data folder, right? It'll, it'll create a, a data folder and install stuff, right? So as you can see right here, um, there are 13 gigs because I already have revamp installed, so I, I will uninstall and then reinstall for you guys. So that's how you do that. That's just making sure it's going to be asking for basically where this is located, right? So that you can install the mod. So for the first time, you know, you can install here, blah, 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 any mod that you download from Xenoverse Mods website, videogamemods.com, et cetera, et cetera, right? But again, we're only focusing on revamp. So now let's get into revamp okay i'm gonna link this down below again i'll just link this down below to be quick that you can get to it um again the, the version of this will change probably in the future as it gets updated we're currently on version 5.1.0 okay this has everything that you need it's compatible and it does add a couple of new things right so you want to go to download revamp installer this big download button right here okay don't worry about the uh, patreon link unless you want to go support them so shout out to the revamp team you can go support them so as you can see, it's going to be a pretty large file. I'm going to go ahead and download it. It's 4.5 gigs, right? So you just download it. Okay, it shouldn't have any issues. I don't recall having any issues for um, getting this. And I, when I say that is sometimes, you know, your, uh, what is it? Um, Defender, Windows Defender will be like, oh, this is a virus. You know, don't, don't fuck with it, right? So yeah, I already have it um, installed. So basically it's going to be this guy right here after you install it going to be a revamp 5.1.0 it's going to be a um, winrar folder so go ahead and you just extract same thing like i did earlier okay and then once you extract it it'll show this up right here okay so before we install anything okay let's say uh you installed some mods and then you want to get into doing revamp make sure you clear all your mods you do not want anything on here okay so what you would do is just click tools and then go down to clear installation okay but i'm not going to do that yet just in case okay because uh i'm going to have to do the installer right so this is where you would go for revamp okay 
but again like i said make sure that you have everything cleared and you've had and make sure you've at least opened up the uh, mods installer uh tool the little application make sure you open that up at least one time okay because it even like you need to make sure you read this too like it's it's in your best interest to read this stuff don't worry about that top part up there it is recommended to clear installation before installing or updating revamp okay make sure you have ran xv2ins.exe at least once before installing i know dragon ball fans it can be difficult for them you know for, for y'all for, for myself right we can't read right <laughs> make sure you know how to read so yeah we'll go to an installer now i'm gonna go and open that guy up it's just this little application right here okay do you get that so right now i have it already installed so i'm gonna go ahead and uninstall it okay so that's gonna take a little bit of time just joking it's gonna take a long time so i'm gonna cut back until i uh can reinstall it for you guys okay <laughs> what's good i'm back now that that definitely took a lot longer than i thought it was just because probably i don't have like the best pc ever but as you can see whenever it's uninstalled uh that'll be good to go so yeah uh that's that's how you would uninstall everything just in case um you know you don't want it anymore or if it's giving you some kind of issue sometimes it happens right um i ex have experienced a couple of crashes on it not super consistent it's been kind of inconsistent maybe it's just too much of going on on screen so just be you know wary of that just know that um you know before you actually do install because once you install everything and you're playing things sometimes there will be some crashes but uh they might be working on a patch for that i'm not sure i think it's like i said it's inconsistent for everyone so now let's go ahead and install it for the very first time okay now when you are installing it for the first time it's going to be asking for the game directory okay this is the same thing for any time that you're installing something new via an installer okay this is an application that's different from just a normal mod right so as you can see right here this is where i have my game installed which is basically this right here this right here i remember this guy right here yeah this is where we're going okay so this is where you would install everything again it's going to be different maybe for you if you install it in a different place okay because i have it in my c drive in program files steam steam apps okay now everything else should be the same here program files but it probably will be in a different drive again just depending on where you installed the video game or where you install your steam games slash apps right so I'm going to go ahead and have that in the description where you can just copy and paste this if it makes it easier for you, because sometimes it, it will, because most of y'all should have it on your C drive, but I'll go ahead and install this. Now, it's going to give you a couple of options here. Okay. Now, this is something that's in beta. You can do it, but again, sometimes there are bugs and stuff. So me personally, I'm not going to mess with the uh, better skin tones. I'm just going to go next. Okay. Now, you're going to get another option. It says, would you like to install no glow colors for Gohan Beast and Broly? Okay um this basically makes the characters either have dipped in oil deep fried ass look or smooth clean normal little bit more cell shaded not exactly but yeah it just depends on what you want okay so if you want the vanilla style roster i i, I don't think it adds that crazy glow or whatever so for now i mean i'll just do yes okay uh and then revamp is ready then you just click next and this takes forever it's a huge huge mod okay this literally quite literally revamps your game it adds a ton of stuff it changes up all the character models colors shaders ui displays <laughs> skills animations like this gives you everything like if i were to recommend one mod to anybody this one this is the one that you really need because it gives you pretty much everything in one in such an easy way without having to mess with other stuff so once this is done on installing we'll go ahead and get back into it and uh i will be back all right ladies and gentlemen we have gotten it installed as you can see right here once it says it's successfully installed then you're good to go just to make sure you know in case you run into an error or whatever if you do run into an error that means you probably have messed up with installing certain mods previously that i told you to uninstall so again make sure you cleared all your mods you don't have anything installed before you actually do this okay you're gonna install revamp you need to make sure everything's clean right so i'm gonna go ahead and click enter on that as you can see my data folder is filled to the brim with a bunch of stuff we're back at that was like 13 yeah 13.4 gigs 
Uh, that that should be the amount of you know stuff that you should have in it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Steam here. Okay, as you can see, I got Steam open. Um, I would personally recommend uh, playing this offline. It doesn't matter uh, really. You can play mods and specifically revamp online with your buddies, but you have to make sure you have all the same exact files. So you could either do that or use Parsec, but that's you know something else that we can talk about. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and open up the game now. <laughs> when you open up the game for the first time after you try, you know, you start modding, do not open it up here in Steam. Okay, I'm just showing you guys like, you know, that I have everything. Um, if you have any issues or errors with the game, for example, whenever you're opening it up, uh, you need to go to properties, then you would, uh, you know, delete all your mods first, obviously. And then you would go to the install files and then verify integrity of game files. This basically, after you un uninstall all your mods or whatever issues, you know, you can, you know, get, whatever files that you were missing back okay to basically get your game back at a base level like you know normal okay it kind of just uh evens out everything right so again we're not gonna you know worry about that so you're gonna go to the xenoverse 2 directory again as you can see over here zoom in go into the bin folder and then you're gonna open up the game in dbxv2 okay this little application this is the application that you will be using going forward to open up your game Okay, to make it easier, just go ahead and pin it to your, you know, your desktop, or you could have it on your desktop, or you could put it to your taskbar. Okay, so I'm gonna go and open it up here on, uh, you know, my taskbar. Again, you can just open it up here. Doesn't matter. So it should be good to go. We're gonna try this out. Make sure everything's good. Uh, this little reshade thing that I have up there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, don't worry about that. That's because I have a uh, specific shaders installed. So he looks good so far in my controller. Okay. Yep. And you'll see this color, this blue display thing. And then obviously you get to the title screen. It has like a brand new intro and everything. It's really cool. Revamp team, they, they're goats. They cook. So yeah, there you can see. Uh, you should be on 1.25.02 patcher 4.64. Okay. And because I'm currently online, it's going to say, oh, blah, blah, blah. You don't have access to the online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there, there it is. That's how you know it worked. You're good to go. You shouldn't have to mess with anything else. So as you can see, look at that. Xenoverse 2 don't look this good, right? <laughs> Normal Xenoverse 2, they don't have this many characters. Look at this. You installed all that. It takes 5 to 10 minutes just to pretty much install everything for the most part, depending on how fast your PC is. And you get all this, bro. Base form Kefla, like you ain't getting this in the game. Base form Cauliflow, like come on, man and they can transform so this is what i was talking about um with beast gohan uh this gets it more consistent to how the base game is but if you have revamp okay if you get the revamp variant of it it makes gohan more dipped in oil looking which is just more accurate to how some of the other characters are uh you know as they treat these as transformations in a sense right but they're separate characters um and then for example broly which i think he is where did he go I think he's all the way down there. My bad. Yeah, Broly uh, DBS. He got some changes. Look at his hair. So yeah, that's how you do it. Everything should be good to go. If you have any issues or concerns, if you, you could probably comment down below. If I am not able to respond in time, that means that somebody else could probably help you. Um, you know, that that's why the comment section is there. Uh, if you have any other tips or pointers for things to make things easier for people, again, you can comment down below. Good luck and have fun with revamp. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, please drop a like on the video. It helps out a ton. Share this with your friends if you're trying to get them to install revamp for the first time. And yeah, thanks for being here. Peace.